What do you think uh, about the Joshua and the Ruiz fight, Dennis? I think he approached the fight all wrong. I think all the way all through the team. I think the promoter, uh, the trainer, the fighter, they approached the fight all wrong. When they didn't, what they call it, Gerald Miller, uh, that fight got. Uh, pulled because of Miller and his. So four drug tests has failed now. Right. So then they've took him. He looks out of shape. Him, looks out of shape. I sure. Think no matter what, you think, well, this is a. If I can get away with this. Did you think it were an easy fight for Joshua? Well, I didn't. I did. I'll be honest with you. I did. Yeah. I did, and and I thought I'd, I'd, I'd looked into Ruiz, and I thought that's shocking. I'd be doing a number, but when I look back. He's Ruiz. amateur record, 105 Ruiz. and 5 won he, or 105, yeah. Ruiz. 100 wins, 5 losses in amateur. Ruiz is a good fighter, and, and it just typifies that you never tell a book by his cover. He got fast hands. in New Zealand, didn't he? He's got fast hands, he's short, but like, Joshua fought the wrong fight. He's, he's clipped him, he's chinned him, Ruiz has gone down, and he thought, well, it's just routine, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to him down. Him. So as he's going to finish, Ruiz is thrown while Joshua's throwing and that's when you're, you're most vulnerable. Yeah. And then he's got clipped and hasn't 100% re recovered. No, he got hit on top of head, didn't he? Well, on top of head, sorry, yeah. So, if that would have been Tyson, for me, Tyson recovers. Yeah. And there's a number on him if he gets put down. I don't think, I don't think Wilder I don't think Wilder, uh, I think Wilder recovers. So, the way to beat Ruiz is to fight, for me, as Klitschko would fight. Bit, bit robotic, use your attributes. Like you, he did against you, Parker. Yeah, and that's, that's where he's got, he's, he's got a... Do you think he'll take it to a boar feast over 12 rounds now? Not well, I, I'll be honest with you, that's what I'd be telling him to do. But, the thing is, well, mm -hmm. as, a, as his manager or his promoter, if they've done the job right, they've got that contract saying, you fight wherever we fight, and this is how much you're getting. Yeah. Now, if they haven't, because they got that complacent and he's fighting um, and asking for 40 million or 50 million dollars, then, then the promoter hasn't done his job properly. So... Oh, yeah. when he hasn't done his job properly? Yeah. 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 He doesn't seem to be signed now, does it? I mean, they were saying that it's a done deal and this and that, and we're getting on for four weeks, aren't we now? And there's nothing concrete, is there? No. So obviously there's a problem because he stayed on out there to sort it out, didn't he? Yeah. And, um, and is it sorted? No, it's not sorted. It's up to today. They're looking on the uh, internet, they're saying it's next week now, but they said that two weeks ago, didn't they? Mm. Next week, next Monday, we'll have a. And it just seems to be getting away from us, doesn't it? And Al Heyman, he doesn't seem to be in a rush now, does he, to deal with them? They can sit back, can't they? They've got the belts. Unless there's some, yeah, get, what, get out close as he got, uh, Al Heyman. Will Al Heyman be having all the best lawyers in the world going through that contract yeah. with, yeah. with yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah. Like, with, like when you dealt with Don King with uh, Tarverus Cloud, when you had magnifying glass. Let's just check here that we're not getting shafted. <laughs> Is that what you did then? It's Jerry Don King. <laughs> Is no, it if it had been a Russ like, like If it had been a Porky Russ contract, oh I'd, have been, I'd have been like, let me have a look at this contract to you. Is, uh, see what I mean, having a dig at me? Let me have a look. What's, what's he, he trying to lift my leg here? That what, or <laughs> what's he like, Don King, Dennis? Very pleasant. Is he sharp? Very sharp. Very, even at his age? Yeah, sharp, but he knows the game inside out. It's like, it's like water off a duck's back, isn't it? He, uh, yeah. he, knows, he, knows, he knows it. And, and Is that why they froze him out? De La Hoya and Eddie Hearn and all them, like they don't want to deal with him and that, do they? No, probably not. But uh, no, Don King's been a master, hasn't he? But Bob Arams, your man, isn't he? He stood the test of time, hasn't he? Top man. Yeah, he's been going longer than Don King. He's seen King off, hasn't he? Yeah. 
He's seen him all off, hasn't he? Seen him all off. Yeah. yeah. Barry Hearn's seen him off. Well, he's on to the sun now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to see the sun off. Yeah, he's, he's outlasted them all, isn't he? Yeah. But he's had some great fighters and been in motion. I mean, yeah. if he just sits down and tells you some of the stories, mate, what you could talk to him about. Don King, oh yeah. God, I could sit him down for hours, couldn't I? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bob Arum, sorry. I could yeah. sit both of them down. Rumble in the, the jungle and all that. Really the, well, we went yeah, they, didn't he? No, no, Rumble in the jungle was Don King, wasn't it? I think, I think. Bob what mean, the third one, the no. Fraser fight? Thriller in Manila. Thriller in Manila, what that, think, Bob? I'm, Bob I'm sure Bob said he had some involvement with the... Uh, Rumble in the jungle. I think so, yeah, no, Don King. Well, that was Don King's third show, wasn't it? The Rumble in the jungle. I'm not sure if... Uh, but Adam's been involved with some massive fights. Massive. Yeah. So, yeah, some stories to tell there, pal. Yeah, yeah, just like you, Dan. You've got some stories to tell, you Russ. Some great stories, mate. Yeah. yeah well, so we talk about and, and what we've got to do is create a few more, haven't we? Yeah, create memories, Dan. Creating memories. We're we'll doing a Clinton Woods coming through, could not we, Dan? Um, yeah, but that's that's a different era now. We then, we've done with that. Yeah. So we're looking for somebody else and not necessarily that way. Catherine not not necessarily the same style. Yeah. Um, but somebody else come through. And yeah. it depends on how, 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 how I've got the appetite for it. Yeah. And at the moment I still have. So yeah. while I've got the appetite I'll stay in boxing and uh, keep trying to generate and yeah. develop a world champion. What do you think, Dennis, about Billy Joe Saunders winning a world title at Super Middleweight? Brilliant, is it? Is it? Massive talent. He's, uh, you like Billy, don't you, Dan? I like him. I, I nearly signed him when we were when he were just yeah. turning pro. Uh, massive talent. I think his his career sh stalled a little bit. He's not active enough. Um, but potentially, what what a star he is. Potentially, what a star he's already a, a talent, but he could be a superstar. What do you think? Yeah, I think he's a tricky, slick southpaw. He's a, like a Calzaghi type, isn't he? Mm. Same sort of height, same mm. sort of mm. skill repertoire, but I think Calzaghi may be mm. more active yeah, definitely. than Bill. Definitely. I don't think Bill is very active, uh, but I think when he gets in with anybody, I think he adapts and yeah. his, his ring IQ is like Tyson Fury's. It's off the scale, isn't it? I think so. Um, I think that Billy is really a middleweight though. Him and Callum Smith would be a good fight. Good fight. But Frank Warren's put the offer to Joe Gallagher. And yeah. what do you think about Joe saying that our next two fights are already sorted, but there's nothing listed? So is that Joe just paying lip service to Frank Warren? Or don't they want the fight? Or does he want Canelo first? Because if, if if Callum beats Canelo, they'll get a trilogy, won't they, with it? Yeah. And then they can always get Billy at end of day, can't they? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Do you think they'd rather go for Canelo first? Yeah. yeah. And if they lose to Canelo, it doesn't matter because it's Canelo? Yeah, I'd, I'd do that if I were. Or do you think Callum Smith will be too big for Billy Joe? Uh, I think it's a good fight. Because they both think that gives Callum an, an advantage as regards He's he obviously stature, but, 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 but because of natural ability, I think Billy's got so it's, it's a good fight. There's two contrasting styles here, I think it's a great Will that be pay-per-view in England, I think, Dennis? I think, I think it will, if you look at some of the other stuff, I think it's going to be a pay-per-view with that. What do you think about Joe Gallagher saying that uh, Callum Smith will sell Anfield out for any fight? I don't believe him. Don't you believe that, no? no. They don't even sell Echo Arena out, do they? We all Smiths on show. You know, if you, you know, it's Bell, you didn't even sell we'll, 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 that, we'll did push it? our prices, but let's not make silly claims, it's not. Tony Bell, you never sold Goodison out, did he? And he's a scouser, and they had yeah. the scousers on card, so. And Tony is a bigger, per, a lot bigger personality than, than Callum. Than Callum. Yeah. Um, but Callum's a talented lad, yeah. very talented, but he, he's not a salesman, is he? No. Do you think, Dennis, that this rumour or th this thing that they've created like Eddie Hearn saying that Liverpool's a hotbed of boxing more than Manchester. I don't agree Dennis me, do you? I don't seem to see sellouts in Liverpool. No. 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 
Frank Warren don't put shows on there now, does he? He has done it past. He's always struggled. He says. No, it's not. It's not. Took off like. You think it's just Eddie creating a bit of a myth there? You think? Yeah. For me, you know, you've still got Sheffield. We're still up there. Yeah. Sheffield. We're still there, Sheffield. Sheffield, Manchester. Leeds. Leeds. With Josh Warrington. With Josh Warrington. That, but they've been they've been starved. They've Leeds. Been starved. Yeah. yeah. Newcastle's been starved. That yeah, seems yeah. to have gone quiet, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ritson sort of got them out there, then it's all, all of a sudden he seems to have... Well I got a Stuart Hall a world title, didn't I? Yeah. But Before that was Glenn McCrory, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, that would be in the 80s, wasn't it? So, mm. that's it. So, we made a bit of history there, didn't we? Yeah. First kid from yeah. Darlington. Yeah, Stuart Hall, yeah. yeah. Winning was the world most world popular, didn't sell enough Did to defend his world title up there, then? It's against yeah. Martin, Martin, Ward. Martin Ward and Paul Butler. He lost, no, he lost to Paul Butler, didn't he? The other one were a draw, wasn't it? Uh, that were a technical draw because yeah. he, uh, he got cut. Yeah. We've got, got a show on next week, Dennis, July 5th at Sheffield. July 5th, Tommy Franks is topping it, defending his Commonwealth title. You've got Josh Whale, finally eliminated for a Commonwealth title. Eliminated for a Commonwealth title. Well, Tyrone Nurse, you've got Keenan Wainwright, you've got Saul. Kane Salvin. Kane Salvin. Uh, go on, carry on. What do you think, Dennis, about uh, me and a few other people, hardcore boxing uh, heads, thinking that Tyrone Nurse, if he wins on July 5th, should call out Conor Ben or Josh Kelly? Yes. Are you happy with that? You'll call him out. Call him out? So if Tyrone Nurse wins on July 5th at Welterweight, we're going to call out Conor Ben and Josh Kelly. Let's get it on. Because their their followers and people around them think it's an easy fight. Oh, right. I think it's a good fight, do you? I think it's a good fight. Yeah. Can that can that be an ed headliner on free sports, Dennis? Whatever they want to do. Well, so you're open. You don't have to go on free sports then, no? No. Could go on Sky if you want. Yeah. 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 I'm happy with that. You're happy with that, yeah? Yeah. So Tyrone Nurse is on board now then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on, we're on. So it. we're Josh adding Wales, to the team now, aren't we, Dan? Uh, what about Josh? Josh Whale. Yeah. What do you think? For Josh, if he wins, I think Gavin McDonald would be a good fight, Dennis. What do you think to that? Yeah, if Gavin wants to do that. I think we'll look Two that. South Yorkshire lads. If Gavin comes and sits down with me, you, he rust club is the red chair here, like Graham Norton has. We could put Gavin McDonald there, and guess who could be sat in that one there? No idea. Steffi Bull. Yeah, and what's he going to do? Take one of them. Oh, I don't want to start talking. I'm only joking. No, we didn't mean that, Steffi. Yeah, we don't No, we could, uh, we could have Steffi and Gav here. We could have a chat, couldn't we, about yeah, boxing? Let's get it on. Is it a good fight? Great fight. Is Mick, would fight? Mick Whale be up for it? I think so, yeah. And we're, we've got just got to make it for something. Yeah. Because he did that fight deserves to be for a, either a eliminator or some kind of title, so... It'd be a trilogy. Yep. Good I mean, I mean, yeah, I'd be up for that. We're both at a different stage in the career when I mentioned this fight a year ago, nobody wanted to know. Mm. Now, it's at a stage where it's a good fight, isn't it? Would it be a sellout then? Yeah, I think it sells well. Rough. Sells well, yeah. We're doing bounds in that, aren't we? Barnsley, oh, Metrodome. Or Metrodome or, or, or Donny Dome. Donny Dome. They'd be good enough. It'd sell out at Donny Dome, that wouldn't it? Easily. Yeah, easy. yeah that'd be good. What about uh, Jamie McDonald, Dennis? What's happening with his career at the moment? Would, would you be open to having him on the show? Yeah, I'd look at it, yeah. But I think he's got some domestic problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which we've all, you know, people, we've all been through it. Um, so he needs to sort himself out there. But yeah, I respect Jamie as a boxer. You know I do. Yeah, I know, yeah. But some of his business dealings leave lots of his eye, but you know, you live and learn. You live and learn and we're all there. So, all being well, and next week, Josh Whale wins, Tyrone Nurse wins, Tommy Frank wins. Mm -hmm. We're looking at Gavin McDonald for Josh Whale. That'd be good. October. Yeah. And we'll be looking for Tyrone Nurse against Josh Kelly or Conor Ben. Yeah. And we'll be looking for Tommy Frank against Sonny Edwards has been calling him out. And is that about is that looking good for next year or later on this year? We could have a triple header. Yeah, I think Tommy and Sonny's a great fight. Um, 
and I think uh, we probably just a couple of fights off that. Uh, I think he's a great fighter. Yeah. So yeah. he's a great little fighter, isn't he, Sonny Edwards? Yeah, isn't he, Dennis? He's a bit larry, isn't he? It's larry, but like it's good for the game. I I both different personalities. I don't aren't. mind a bit of banter as long as you don't get too personal. I yeah. like a bit of banter. Let's call each other out. Yeah. Have a dig at whoever, but don't get too personal. But like, let's let's build that fight up because it can be a smashing fight. That'd be a right show, that wouldn't it? We'd have to get tuxedos on, wouldn't we, Dennis? Oh, you know, black, black ties tuxedo and Tuxedo would have to come out for that one, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Terry, get your tuxedo ready for that one. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> so, I got that off him and ram it. So, that, you've got three shows there, haven't you, really? Tommy and Sonny, Tyrone Nurse against Josh Kelly or Conor Ben. Yeah. And then the good little round robin that, and obviously Gavin McDonald, Josh Whale. Yeah. Three headline sh fights there, isn't there? Yeah, some good fights. In Sheffield, Barnsley, yeah. or even down south. Tyrone would be up for going down south, wouldn't yeah. he? Yeah. Fight uh, yeah. Yeah. Connor yeah. or up north to fight Josh Kelly. So some good. I've got, our, I've got our new glove sponsor. No. RDX. RDX. Oh, yeah. Any good? Oh, I've seen some yeah, of that. Yeah, it's some good quality stuff from Jamie at RDX. Shout out to Jamie at RDX. I'll have to. Will I get a free pair then? I'll send you a picture. You can have a I'll pick pair. up on channel. You can have a free pair of. You don't. When do you use your gloves? I've got them Lonsdale ones that I use at Factory, don't I? I've got back. Well, they will have you. No, Steffi will give them for my birthday. Oh, yeah, you'll stick with Steffi. <laughs> I need to go to the gents. Right then, all right. Well, listen, we're going up XL Road for a curry, aren't we? Yeah. Come on then. Well, listen. Always good to see you, Paul. Always good to see you. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Shout out to Richard Towers, Big Richard, Stevie Crump, Marcus, Marcus, Peter and all our sponsors. Peter, love to you and your family, pal. All right. I need to come and see you soon. All right. We'll be seeing you.